I often get is, as you're asking John, you know, why do people, what, how, how is women's empowerment and contraception and family planning connected to climate change? And the most powerful way is that um, if women have the opportunity to be able to be have a voice and be agents in their community, in their country, globally, we have the opportunity to have the kind of innovation that we need to be able to combat this. Because as we know, and you know a lot about it in this part of the country, innovation often comes from outside the places of power, outside the places that have created the circumstances. It's disruptive, it comes. <laughs> and for most of humanity and in most places, women are, are outside of that and have life experiences and intelligence and creativity to offer to that. Yet it's very difficult to offer that if you don't have the opportunity for contraception. And I told you about my sons. My sons are very close in age. They're 23 months and 23 minutes apart. So I had uh, three sons <laughs> under two, twins a uh, second time. I know deep inside me that if I had continued to have children every 23 months, I wouldn't be sitting here with you. I wouldn't have been able to make this contribution. And I think a lot of us in this audience know that what has made a huge difference in our life is to be able to exercise the rights that we've had around that. 